Hello again, and welcome back to IP Tech Talk. Previously, we looked at the architecture and key technologies of Huawei's cloud managed network solution. Today, we're going to talk about the security and reliability of this solution. As cloud computing technologies are adopted more and more widely, enterprises are moving more services to the cloud. This allows enterprise resources to be utilized in a dynamic, scalable, and easy to allocate manner, which enables the digital transformation of enterprise services. This change creates a stepping stone for business transformation and also creates a shortcut to cost savings. This is why cloud managed networks are gaining momentum. But although more enterprises are actively trying this new network architecture and resource allocation mode, some enterprises still have certain concerns about cloud managed networks. In particular, they often ask three typical questions. The first one is, will user data be remotely monitored after the network is migrated to the cloud? And how will network management rights be controlled efficiently after the network is migrated to the cloud? And finally, is the cloud management platform itself secure and reliable enough? When answering these questions, we admit that while most enterprises have begun to move their services to the cloud, some enterprises are still taking a wait and see approach. Next, let's answer these three questions by discussing the security and reliability of cloud managed networks. To answer the first question, we should be clear about what data will be uploaded to the cloud after the network is cloud managed. As we know, whether we're talking about traditional networks or cloud managed networks, there are three main types of service traffic. The first type is local service traffic, which refers to the traffic generated when enterprise users access servers of various services in the enterprise data center, such as the attendance system, monitoring system, and financial system. The second type is device management traffic, which is the traffic generated when the network management system or cloud management platform configures and manages network devices. The third type is ordinary internet traffic, which is the traffic generated when enterprise users access the internet. In Huawei's cloud managed network solution, only device management traffic is sent to the cloud. User service traffic, on the other hand, is forwarded locally without being sent to the cloud. This ensures that the cloud management platform does not obtain or monitor any user service traffic. By now, you may be wondering, since device management traffic is sent to the cloud, are the channels for transmitting such traffic secure enough? To answer that, let's find out how Huawei's cloud managed network solution ensures the security of such channels. According to Huawei's solution, a cloud managed network mainly involves two types of channels for transmitting device management traffic. The first type of channel resides between the tenant administrators or MSP administrators clients and the cloud management platform. Such administrators can log into the cloud management platform from anywhere with an internet connection through a browser. This means this channel needs to traverse the internet, but aren't there risks if data traverses the internet? Actually, we don't need to be too concerned because we always place cybersecurity as our top priority. So how do we ensure the security of this channel? Huawei's solution uses the HTTPS protocol to transmit packets. HTTPS builds on HTTP by adding a security layer and uses the TLS 1.2 protocol to encrypt packets. This is how traffic transmission is kept secure. The second type of channel is located between the cloud management platform and network devices. The cloud management platform delivers configuration and query information to network devices through the internet. This process is implemented using NetComp and is encrypted using the SSH protocol. Meanwhile, network devices report some of their performance data to the cloud management platform. This process is implemented using HTTP version 2 or HTTP 2. HTTP 2 itself does not forcibly require encryption. However, client vendors in the industry have claimed that they support only HTTP 2 over TLS. In this case, data transmission is encrypted when HTTP 2 is used. As a major cloud service provider, Huawei equips its cloud managed network solution with HTTP 2 over TLS 1.2 to encrypt packets, thereby ensuring the security of the transmission channel. 
So what do you get with Huawei's solution? The answer is a secure channel for transmitting device management traffic to the cloud. Okay, we've now answered the first question. But some people may still be thinking, although the data transmission channel is secure, how will network management rights be controlled efficiently? This is the question we will answer next. On a traditional network, if we do not want a user to access the network, we can isolate or block the user based on routing policies. However, this approach does not work for traffic over the internet. So could this lead to the misuse of administrative rights? Considering this, we've introduced a rights and domain-based management approach in Huawei's Cloud Managed Network solution, efficiently controlling user rights. But what is this management approach? It is to authorize rights to users by role, responsibility, and managed area, so as to properly control operational rights and scope. This minimizes service security issues caused by misoperations or unauthorized behavior. To efficiently control user rights, the cloud management platform in Huawei's solution defines different user roles with different rights. When creating an account, you need to configure user rights for the account by specifying a user role. This process is called rights-based management. For example, if you specify a monitor role for an account, the account only has the permission to view tenant services and related configurations. Similarly, if you specify a tenant administrator role, the account has the permission to operate tenant services and related configurations. Of course, there are other roles, which we will not list one by one here. After introducing rights-based management, let's figure out what exactly domain-based management is. Domain-based management specifies the scope of areas that an administrator can manage. After creating an administrator and specifying a role for the administrator, you also need to specify the scope of sites that the administrator can manage. In this example, a site named Soho is added to the newly created account, allowing the account to manage only this site. This process is called domain-based management. Next, let's look at the security and reliability of the cloud management platform itself. This is also a key consideration for some customers when choosing cloud managed networks. After all, security and reliability are the fundamental requirements for network services. Huawei's cloud managed network solution builds on Huawei Cloud to implement distributed cluster deployment, where each service node adopts a redundancy design. As such, the cloud management platform delivers a multi-layer and multi-dimensional in-depth security protection across all network services, ensuring robust data security. Huawei also has a comprehensive security management system, a clear indicator of product security. To cope with increasingly prevalent security threats, Huawei Cloud builds a complete trustworthiness system for users from three dimensions, organization, process, and product. The system is characterized by security, privacy, resilience, compliance, and transparency. Huawei's Cloud Managed Network solution draws on the advantages of Huawei Cloud and also fully leverages industry best practices. In particular, this solution is designed with a series of effective security principles and methods to better implement network security protection while reducing information security risks. So there we go. We've now answered all the three questions about cloud managed networks. What do you think? Want to try the cloud managed network service for yourself? Well, that brings us to the end of today's IP Tech Talk. Thanks for watching and see you next time.